Welcome again to another Mastering Construction podcast. We are continuing to lay out our footings, the concrete footings that will hold up our structure. Guys are out here today and uh, as you can see we've got the string lines out for our grid lines and the guys are using the plans to pull off the dimensions off those string or grid lines so that we make sure that the footings are located in the uh, correct locations. Don't want to make any mistakes. So uh, we've also got our plan table out with a highlighted set of plans showing each kind of footing and what kind of concrete uh, structure is going to be in which location so we get those accurately reported and reflected in the white powder, our lime powder. What we're looking at here is uh, some more layout for our footings in the bottom of our pit. This is our pad grade where we'll start construction and go up from here. As you can see they've worked off of the, the lath the survey points. We've got right here it says line G so when we look on our plans we'll find grid line G. It's got that point right there, that little hub. See that string pulled off of it there and he's got the yellow line pulled across here all the way down. So this creates kind of a starting point for the rest of this and then we've got grid lines all across here going both ways so that he can ac accurately tell where these footings are going to be chalk them out and then we can uh, start trenching our footings. When we have the, le the, the line G here you notice he's got the the hub here but he's also got it marked on the back side as well so you can see it from both sides and be able to pull your string accurately. Now what we have here also in the green you can see he's laid out that's our elevator pit so we'll have an elevator shaft going up from there so he's laid out where that elevator pit is in relation to his footings in white and the little grade beams, concrete beams that are going underground so to make sure that there's no conflict. What I want to show you here is we do have a little bit of a conflict that we're going to resolve in the next day or two is, uh, let me back up, you can see those white things are all our footings so we've got concrete, concrete, concrete but here's my slope, my benched area where the building rises up you can see this, uh, this is my footing and uh, the problem is it shows my footing going up the hill. Now here's the problem, it, is it looks real simple as we just trench this out but if I were to cut that down which we're going to go another four and a half, four feet actually from here, you can see the marking there, we're going to go four foot down from here just straight down. It's going to be a cut straight down. If I do that this material is going to want to slide into that hole and so it's going to be unsafe I couldn't have a bunch of men working in that digging and laying rebar when I've got this bench too close to it. So what I need to do is I need to have the grader back out here and uh, we're going to pull back this material to a safe distance so we have like a, a flat area at the top of that, that cut where the footing is. So we'll have a safe passage around it and this dirt won't want to slough back into that trenched area. Now this all happened really because of a lack of coordination between our our civil uh, the civil um, drawings show this bench right here but the footings have always been here as well and so somebody didn't look at the fact that we've got a four foot cut and this bench right at the toe of that cut actually encroaching in it so it creates a, a unsafe working condition as well as just an unwise um, way to work with these footings not very uh, it wasn't very thought out at the beginning so what we're going to do is we're going to have a grader come back and cut these back we'll re-chalk these out so that we don't create a OSHA hazard or a safety hazard for the guys that are working in those holes so that is one thing that you can always do early in the job and we thought we had it kind of ironed out we asked this question and everybody said yeah we we looked at it but overlaying the uh, the plans like in this instance the concrete plan showing the footings could have asked for an overlay for this survey and the grading plans to make sure that we had the right uh, right combination of cutbacks so we wouldn't have faced this but we're here now and it's not the end of the world but we're going to uh, get working on cutting this back and going with our footings. Well we talked about our plans take a look at our plans here we've got highlighted there the different footings and you can see up on top on the side the letters and numbers show the grid lines that we talked about that have the strings 
So they're able to take those and uh, measure off and uh, get accurately recorded where each footing goes. Well, here we are back up on top, getting an overview of the job. You can see all the hard work the guys have done, making sure that those footings are lined out, that white lime powder. We know where everything goes. We've used the grid line successfully to make sure that uh, the footings are in the correct location. We get one shot at digging and pouring this concrete, so we don't want to make, make any mistakes. So we are almost ready to start uh, trenching and pouring some concrete for our footings. Hope you enjoyed this edition of Mastering Construction Podcast.